Hello. Hello, everybody. My name is Pokemon Max. Hello, everybody. My name is Pokemon Max. And today we are doing the Elemental Ores mod. Yeah, 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 yeah. I am happy. Oh, gosh, what was that? And, anyways, this might not be that. Sh might not be that long since I will be going over stuff fairly quick. Um, but if you want me to go slower. There. <laughs> Anyways, let's start off with the basis of this whole mod. The orb. Now, the orb is made of a chest and four glass surrounding it, and it'll give you the orb. The orb is basically what makes everything in... basically starts out everything in this mod. Now, these two are the... these two chests... this chest is all the orbs you can make, and this is the next phase of the orbs, which I will show you how to make those. But first, to do that, we need, but to get these, we first have to make them. Make the regular orbs, basically. Now, to make all these orbs, I'm going to start off by showing four at a time until we get to the last chest, which is just three. Now, let's start. We're going to start with these four, which is the fire orb, oh, sorry, the fire orb, the lightning orb, the explosion orb, and the ice orb. Now, I'm just going to, um, do this. Uh, oops, sorry. <laughs> I'm a little bit jittery today. Anyways, the fire orb is made out of coal and, f coal and flint and steel surrounding in this pattern, and that's really with an orb in the middle. And that's how you make it, and this will burn all nearby mobs. So, yeah. When, when right-clicked, it'll burn all nearby mobs, and I'll show all these effects later. The next one is the lightning orb. The lightning orb is made by six redstone and a diamond in this pattern, and it, um, let me check what it does again, sorry. It's just a little bit, um, okay, it strikes nearby entities with lightning, um, I should have known that. The explosion orb, made by four TNT surrounding an orb, explodes nearby enemies, of course. And an ice orb, by right-clicking, it freezes nearby water and near and freezes nearby mobs. So, yeah, that's sort of expected. Now, next is the ender orb. The ender orb is just an eye of ender and an orb. And what it does, basically, it teleports. It must be right-clicked on... You teleport... Well, basically, you right-click on a mob and you teleport to it. Ah, I'm just stuttering over my words today. <laughs> Sorry about that. Now, next is the dry orb, which is made by five pieces of sand in the shape of a helmet and three flint and steel. And what it does is it evaporates nearby water, kills all nearby plant life, and turns some nearby grass to dirt into, into dirt or sand. So, yeah. The nature orb basically does the exact the exact opposite of the dry orb. It grows nearby crops and turns nearly nearby stone brick, cobblestone into mossy versions, plants, trees, grass, and flowers. Uh, basically, it does exactly the opposite. Next is the water orb, which is made by surrounding a orb with a bucket of wa water buckets. Oh, and the nature orb, saplings and seeds surrounding an orb. Yeah, the water orb. Um, keeps you surrounded in water while right-clicking. Useful ex for escaping mobs, getting across ravine, scaling walls, or preventing fall damage. Takes practice to use correctly and efficiently. To use efficiently, hold right clu cl a little, little cl click and move just as if you were flying. So yeah, next and ants. Next we have the Nether Orb. The Nether Orb basically just turns your surroundings into like the Nether. Turns ground materials into nether materials, spawns occasional lava, plants mushrooms and nether warts, and spawns a few zombie pigmen. So, yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry. Next is the animal orb. Now, the animal orb... Well, sure, first I should say this. The nether orb is made by nether rack, soil, sand, nether wart, a gas tear, and a gold nugget. Basically, everything you get from the nether. And the animal orb is made by basically a lot of drops from basic mobs. The skeleton, sheep, pig, 
um, just by fishing beef, a cow, and a chicken. And that's really how you make it. This will spawn pass random passive mobs on the nearby grass, occasionally spawns a zombie, so watch out for that. The Defender Orb, um, it's a little bit bugged out, so um, I might not be showing it, but just in case. It spawns a wolf, and it's made by two diamonds, a pumpkin, two iron blocks, and three bones, rounding an orb. And the Omega, which is basically those orange ones over there, is made by, um, which, which, which one was um, this one? It spawns an iron golem. Sorry. <laughs> I couldn't figure out which chest I was looking at. Um, the light orb is made by four torches, gunpowder, and three glowstones surrounding an orb. And it will place torches and glowstone in dark areas around you. So basically, if you're in a cave and it's super dark, you just get out your light orb and bam. Yeah, you got it. Now, the last three are the heat orb, the teleport orb, and the end orb. Now, the heat orb, it smelts blocks around you like clay to brick and catches blocks around you on fire. You know, this is made with seven thermite and a flint and steel, and I'll explain what thermite is later. Sorry, an orb, and then you get that. Now, the teleportion, teleportation orb, Lilla, you can only use on a server, so this will probably crash my game if I try to use it here, so I will not. Which is made by four ender pearls and four end stone, and starting an orb. And it teleports you. Right click teleports you to the player, which you rename the orb to. Um, it can. Standard uses is 10 times. Basically, you have to rename it to whoever you want to teleport to. Like, um, if you're in a server with your friend and you get lost, you just click this and it'll get teleported to him. You can use it 10 times as this or 30 times as the Omega, and I'll show you how to make that. Now, the end orb, um, it changes the ground material to end stone, spawns endermen, and creates obsidian towers. It's made by end stone, ender pearls, and a city in this order around and that's how you do it yeah now I guess I should explain how to um basically um, make these now I will show by doing this you must take a fire orb or whatever orb you want and um, you must make this to basically do it you can only use it once you need to get five Omega Stones and four Iron units to make this Omega Upgrader. And you just right click it and it disappears and you get an Omega version of the orb you did it with. Now, to get Omega Stones, which basically is the only way you can make this, you need to mine this ore right here that I'm looking at. It is called the Omega Ore, as it should. Just mine it and you get an Omega Stone. Basically this. Now, this is what you need for the heat orb. You need to first get, um, you need to first get uh, the aluminum. Now, to get aluminum, you mine this ore, put it in the furnace, and you get this. Now, you need to make this into a powder by putting this in a crafting bench, and it will give you aluminum powder. Oops. Now. You also need iron oxide, which means you need to put a bucket of water and an iron ingot in a crafting bench, and you get iron oxide. Now put these together, and you get two thermite. Now you need to do this process a lot, so yeah. Now I'm going to show what the Omega Upgrader does. So just right click, and there. Now that that's gone, and I have an Omega version of the fire orb. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Now that I have this, um, yeah, let's just get rid of this because I have a bunch of these anyways. So now we're going to um, get these, these orbs. We're going to put these two back since we can't actually use them here. And we're going, I'm going to pause for a second and I'll be right back. Now. What I'm going to first show off here is the um, tor the light orb. So basically, all you have to do is right click and in a few seconds it'll just spawn a whole bunch of torches and sometimes glowstone into the area and that's how that's how it works. You have to be in summer dark, so basically in like a cave or at night, like it is right now.
Now, I'm going to, um, I'll be right back. So, yeah, yeah. Okay, and I'm back. I'm going to start out by, um, first showing what the fire orb does. Now, I said it will catch nearby mobs on fire. So, basically, right click and burn, piggies, burn. <laughs> that one's not on fire. And basically, you'll get cooked food out of this whenever they die. Yay, cooked pork chops. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my gosh, lag. Uh, give me a second, sorry about this. Now next, we do the lightning orb. Basically, right click. It, um, struck the pig, it turned it into a zombie pigman, and then it disappeared because I'm in peaceful, sorry. Um, give me a, um, second. Let me get out of peaceful. Normal. Back to game. Now let's find another pig. Now. We right click. Now there's zombie pigman. But usually it just strikes nearby, um, entities. Now next we have the explosion orb. Jeez, I'm seriously lagging here. Video settings. Um, okay. Back to game. Okay, I just wanted to see. Now, when we right click this, um, I don't know if it inflicts any damage, so let's. Aim mode zero here. Now we right click. Um, it would hurt you a lot if you um, did that. Oh, these are all one time uses. The only reason why I had. I was able to keep these um, is because I was in game mode one. Anyways, um, next we have the ice orb, so let's get out of that. And we need to get um, that orb again, but anyways, um, let's just do that. Next we have the ice orb. Now, we just right click, and it basically puts a block on any um, mob around, any, an ice block on any mob around you, and it'll freeze water, so just let you guys know that. Next is the ender orb. Now, um... Now right click on that pig. I think that and I, I froze that girlfriend's mob. Now I right click. Don't you run away? Come back here. Now I back up. And it should what? Apparently I just saved that, um, oh well, I don't know what just happened there. Next we have the dry orb, now let's right click, and yeah, this is what it did. <laughs> I just turned around to see that. Now if we go over here near the trees and we right click with this, trees are wiped out, yep. Now next we have the nature orb, now, there we go, spawns all that. Now another orb. I'm basically making this into a, oh, oh, ooh, run, 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 run. Basically, like, messing up this landscape a lot. Now, I'm going to go over here. Now, I need to, I need to actually get over there. So, let's try. Anyways. I'm gonna walk this way. Next, we have the water orb. Now, right click, and yeah, now we have this. And this will never like if you move forward. This will never like um, the water never falls. And this is not a good thing for my game. The water never falls, so you can do that, and it'll just stay like that. So yeah. I showed that, and now we get 
this stuff. Oh, never mind, there it goes. So it will fall after a while because you need to, um, basically, it will fall after you, um, let it spawn. Let it do that, so, yeah, now we have that. Next, let's go ahead and do the defender orb. We spawn some two wolves, yeah. Next, let's spawn the animal orb, and it should just spawn random. Yeah, I just spawned all those, I think. I just click it again. Hmm. Next, um... Oh, I spawned those. Next, we go right here, and we right-click. Yep, set so all this on fire. There's nothing that smells, really. And then uh, oh, those those are on fire. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <gasps> I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. I wish I could turn off fire spread. I don't know how. Now next, um, next we have the end orb right here. Now right click, and we have our own little end stuff right here. It and it makes these small pillars. Doesn't make any large ones. Now, now next here's the omega fire orb. It basically burns anything near you. Um, then we have the omega lightning orb. Strikes almost it strikes everything while uh, mega ice orb. It turned all that into ice. Next, I'll make a dry orb, make a nature orb. Then, doing a lot of crazy stuff to this. I'm doing a lot. <laughs> I'm doing a lot of crazy stuff to this place. Now, Omega Animal Orb. A whole bunch of animals of every single thing that spawns. Omega Defender. Head over my iron golem. Omega Nether. Now, bam. Bunch of lava there. Omega water. Probably just like did something really weird. And now that thing's on fire. Omega end. I believe I already did. No, I didn't. Um, there's a lot of this now. I'm really screwing up the landscape here. Now, we, um, Omega, th Omega Heat. What did that just do? Whoa! Set all the blocks on fire. And I think I did some ice blocks as well. Jeez. I also dried up the water that was spraying out. <sighs> Anyways, guys, this, I have really just screwed this world. I mean, look at this. I spawned an enemy as well. Or is that the girlfriend? Yeah, it's the girlfriend. Anyways, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, <laughs> um, the link to the mod will be in the description below. Um, also, leave a... Whoa. <laughs> leave a... Um, uh, leave a like or, like or favorite this video um, if you enjoyed it. Also, um, check out... Check out my other videos, check out my other mod videos, um, in my channel, um, Pokemon Max, if you didn't know. Mm, also, leave a, also subscribe to my channel, because I put a lot of work into these, sometimes, whenever I'm not feeling bad, or something. 
And um, I really appreciate whenever people tell me I'm good by um, saying they'll subscribe to me. Anyways, um, I hope you all enjoyed this. My name is Pokemon Max. Um, I will. I'll be uploading some more videos later. Also, um, watch watch for a new book coming into um coming into the market called the Journal of the Dead soon, because I'm planning on finishing my book over the summer. So check for that. Check out for that over the um at your local bookstore, hopefully. Also, um, check out some of my other videos. I already said that. And, um, my name is Program X, and I'll see y'all later. My undead army. Yeah, thanks for watching.